So this video is going to be about Prince Harry and the Invictus Games, and is that where he's going to find some appreciation that maybe he doesn't feel uh, in the UK? So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Is it the Invictus Games that give Prince Harry the uh, positive feedback that he uh, requires? Uh, you're going to see that there's some information about the Invictus Games that's very interesting. And then uh, we'll pull the cards and uh, let me know what you think. So, 2014, the Games launched on the 6th of March. And it was under the sign of Pisces uh, by Prince Harry at, uh, at London's Copper box arena. For those who don't know, this uh, arena is a multi-sport uh, venue in the Hackney Wick area of Hackney in uh, the Queen Elizabeth uh, Olympic uh, Park in London, England. And it was previously known as the Handball Arena, but was renamed because during the Olympics, it also hosted the uh, pentathlon, pentathlon, which is fencing, shooting, swimming, horse jumping, and running, and had been the gold ball venue for the 2012 Summer Olympic Paralympics. Uh, its design uh, incorporates light pipes and rainwater collectors, uh, reducing energy and water use by 40%. The name Copper Box reflects its look, and there are 7,000 seats, and it's praised for its loud, exciting atmosphere, even though for the Par Paralympics uh, goal ball events, the crowd uh, must be quiet. But uh, in 2013, Prince Harry, having seen uh, British competition at the United States Warrior Games, uh, wished to bring the concept of international sporting to the United Kingdom. His vision was put together just over 10 months with one million pounds uh, from the Royal Foundation, which is a charity established by Prince Harry and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, plus one million pounds of treasury funds from fines imposed on banks as a result as a result of the LIBOR scandal, and you may ask, what is the LIBOR scandal? And that was, in 2008, the LIBOR scandal was a series of fraudulent actions connected to the London International Bank Offered Rate, L-I-B-O-R, London International Bank Offered Rate. Uh, and, and average interest rate calculated through the submissions of rates by major world banks, and the banks were falsely inflating or deflating rates to profit from the trades, or uh, give the impression that they were more creditworthy uh, than was true. So LIBOR uh, underpins about 300, 350 trillion in uh, derivatives. But then uh, back to Prince Harry, he felt the games would demonstrate the power of sport to inspire recovery and support rehabilitation and demonstrate life beyond disability. Their long-term objective is to ensure injured troops are not forgotten. Uh, governing uh, the foundation or its patrons, of course, the Duke of Sussex and chairman. the chairman is Lord Charles Allen of Kensington. And the word Invictus actually means unconquered. So it is the fighting spirit of wounded, uh, injured, and sick service folk and what they can achieve uh, after injury. Now, 2016, the second games opened at Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida, USA, and uh, that was organized, of course, by Prince Harry, but also First Lady Michelle Obama, former U.S. President George W. Bush, and others. And then uh, President Barack Obama and Queen Elizabeth II made a pro promotional video for the event. The 2017, the third games were held in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where Harry made one of his first high-profile public appearances with Meghan Markle. And then 2018, of course, the games were held in Sydney, South uh, New South Wales, Australia, and attended by Prince Harry, and then, uh, and now, Meghan, uh, the Duchess of Sussex. So that's what I've got about that. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, so the question is, and uh, this was from a viewer, Sophie Coase, or Sophie Coase 06, S-O-F-I-K-O-Z 06 is the name of the viewer, and uh, they ask, uh, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, is he just more appreciated at the Invictus Games uh, than in his own uh, United Kingdom? So we'll take a look at that. Is it that the, the prince just feels more appreciated at the Invictus Games than he does even uh, in his own uh, home of the United Kingdom? And is that why uh, he's more inclined to go to those games uh, rather than show up 
and we get the Five of Cups and the Queen of Coins and the Four of Swords, which is Five of Cups is uh, worrying over something lost emotionally. The Four of Swords is taking a break for uh, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law at your peril. And the Queen of uh, Coin is um, really a big offer of value. It may have nothing to do with what we're talking about. But those cards just fell out. Probably just my clumsy uh, handling of the cards. So is it that Harry just is more appreciated or feel, at least feels more appreciated at the Invictus games than he does even in his own country? But you know what we're going to do first. Let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. So... Is it that Harry is just feeling more appreciated uh, in that environment of the Invictus Games than he is um, in his own home? Uh, so what is it about that? Thank you for the question. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. Let's do six cards and see where that takes us. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is it that he's just more appreciated at the Invictus Games than he is even in his own homeland? Interesting. The signifier card for that is the Page of Coins. Well, it's interesting because the coins are value, and this is talking about value, and the page is very little value. He's the least valuable of the court cards. So this is a message of value, a message concerning value, and that's the signifier of this card, and that's what we're asking about. Does he feel more uh, valued at the Invictus Games than in his own country? Amazing that the cards uh, hit on it. I I'm just shocked all the time by this. The uh, challenge to this is the Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah. So this is truth, justice, rules, law. That's what swords are. And the Queen of Swords is a great big helping of that. So the challenge to this little page of value is this Queen of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. I'm going to take uh, go on a limb here and say, this is Harry feeling undervalued. And this is the Queen saying, listen, this is about the monarchy. And this is what we're, that's what I'm fighting for here. The basis of this reading is the Knight of Wands. Okay, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, so plans. And the Knight is the one who's going to fight for those plans. Again, I feel like this is Harry saying, you know, it's it's enough uh, of enough importance to me to keep up this little fight uh, to, for these plans um, to uh, to get some respect back in the United Kingdom. May not seem that way to us on the outside, but perhaps that's what we're seeing. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe we're looking inside here. The past of this reading is this Ace of Coins. Ace is a great big value of, uh, a great, great big offer of value. Coins are value and um, seldom a money, usually a core value. And so this Ace of Coins is angelic and the coin is up in the air. She can just reach it if she if she reaches up. So the past of this reading has all been that question of value. And there's an offer of value out there, whether uh, Harry recognizes it or not. In the sky, this reading is the sun. Beautiful. So this is a great big shining light down on the issue. And this is a yes card. And um, so that's interesting because the question is, does he feel more uh, uh, valued at the Invictus Games and in uh, the UK? The likely outcome of the first part of this then is this four of coins. The uh, four of coins is having to hold on to your value. Okay. And this kind of stingy looking miserly uh, woman here is holding on to her value, not budging until she makes um, you know, sure that uh, she's not going to lose any of this value. Gosh, I've got to say right away, it makes me feel like Megan. And I'm on the Harry and Megan team, by the way. I'll just tell you. The, um, we'll need four more cards because this isn't the end of it. So is it because Harry feels more valued uh, at the Invictus Games than he does even in his own uh, country? So the signifier of that question is right here. This is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, look. Swords, truth, justice, rules, law. This uh, person feels trapped um, and uh, uh, and can't move forward. But the fact is, is that the, the binds are loose. Um, this, the mask is almost falling off. And uh, there's a, a little um, butterfly of hope here in the sky. So um, this uh, is... is, is tells me that this person is worried about something they shouldn't be that worried about because there is a way forward for them. The environment that, that in is, that's in is the world card. And what is the world card? The world is the completion of a cycle and then the beginning of another cycle. And again, it just takes me back to his grandmother. The hopes and the fears for all of this 
as to whether he feels uh, more uh, valued at the Invictus Games than in the UK is this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands are plans, issues, and there we go. There's a lot of stuff coming at this person uh, all at the same time, a lot to deal with, and it's sorting out those plans that seems to be um, uh, a hang-up here. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing with this Two of Coins is finding that balance. Coins are value, and uh, yeah, and so finding the, va the, the balance. And I think this this uh, reading lends itself to that question. So we're saying, are the Invictus games giving him more of a reward of value than going home? Yeah. Um, it starts out with a page of coins, a very little message of value. Um, I think this is what Harry feels like he's receiving uh, in the UK. And it's challenged by what? It's challenged by the Queen of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. That's uh, Grandma saying, get your head on straight. It's about the country. The um, basis of the whole thing with this knight of wands is this knight willing to fight for his plan harry in the past of this reading this ace of coins is just this uh, angelic offering of a, a modest amount of, of value here and can just barely reach it so in the past they haven't been able to make that connection with the value offered in the uk to harry as opposed to the value he gets from adoration at the evictus games in the sky this reading is the sun which just lets us know there's a yes card there's a sun shining down on this thing and this can can come to pass in its time and uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing with this four of coins is still being in a holding pattern grabbing onto holding onto your value before you make a move forward maybe that's megan in the past of this reading or not in the past i'm sorry the very signifier of that question the self of that question uh, the, the victus games make you feel better than the uk is this eight of swords and just feeling tied up feeling bound but you can get out of these binds you just have to apply yourself to do it and the environment it's in is in this completion of a cycle my goodness that has to be the completion of the queen's uh, cycle as uh, and her reign the uh, hopes and the fears for all of this are these eight of wands, all these issues, all these plans happening at the same time. Plans need to be made. Issues are there. All of this has to be sorted out. And that's the hopes and the fears of everything. And the likely outcome of everything is finding that balance, that finding the balance between the value. And uh, and at that point is when we'll see some sort of a, a reconciliation with his homeland. That's what I think. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.